Hey guys, so I've been researching the terrible tragedy of the Space Shuttle Challenger um, and some of the different ethical dilemmas and issues that are associated with that premature launch um, as well as the different issues that or the different ethical dilemmas that engineers face at large. Um, this is a great example of the, the many um, compromising situations that engineers are put in, into. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's just a classic scenario. Um, I mean, unfortunately, it was a tragedy. You know, um, there was human lives at stake here, and because of business agendas um, and pressure that shouldn't have been there, there was a, there was a tragedy there, um, and it's interesting that it kind of boils down to the ethical um, dilemmas that the engineers here faced. So I wanted to a answer a few different questions for you. Um, uh, so number one is what could NASA have, what could NASA have done differently? Um, my thought here is they could have taken serious the recommendations from the engineers and waited a little bit longer to launch. Um, in this in this case, the engineers initially um, all this went down the night before the launch, but initially they they recommended that the launch be delayed um, until warmer weather. So um, this is one of the coldest coldest winters that Florida had ever seen um, the night before the launch the the weather was in the single digits or the temperature I should say was in the single digits um, but I lived in Florida for two years and it never ever gets that cold I mean really you can wait you know if they would have waited a couple weeks I'm sure it would have recovered to a point where you know it was in that 50 60 degree range that they've since found in, in kind of some uh, post you know investigation of this launch and the tragedy that happened they've since found that um, you know the initial testing for this rocket and the part that failed uh, was kind of failing in the 50 degree range but if they had just waited until you know 50 60 70 degrees likely this likely would not have happened um, so the next point that I want to bring up and kind of question I want to answer is what what should Roger Boys Jolly have done differently, if anything? Um, keeping in mind that, you know, this man had a family to support. Um, I think uh, I think he could have demonstrated more fidelity to the engineering code. Um, I personally in my career have known several different engineers who were put in compromising situations. And in fact, some who, because they weren't willing to quote unquote put on their engineering hat or their managing their manager at, hat, as was described, you know, in the in the case study here, um, there was pressure put on these engineers to quote put on their their management hat. And um, I've seen many. I've seen three different engineers that were asked to do that, and because they didn't, they were let go. But they found jobs within you know weeks. Um, so, yeah, I mean, understandable that maybe the job market wasn't super hot at that time. But what I've seen in my career is that honesty is always the best policy. And if you show fidelity to the things that matter, in the long term, you're going to get rewarded for it. Um, you know, very specific examples I could share, but uh, just it's just honesty is always a good policy. And then... Um, uh, the question was raised, what do I see as future engineering professional responsibilities in relation to being loyal to management and protecting the public welfare? Well, just as I shared earlier, um, if you're an engineer, you need to be cautious in that, and you need to be careful in, in the calculations that you make because people's lives are at stake. Um, and I'm far too spontaneous to be an engineer. Um, but hats off to engineers that are great all over the world who make good decisions and keep us safe every day. Thank you.